Hey, what's up guys? How are you guys doing? Bring you guys another hardcore team deathmatch and um, Yeah, this game actually I came in late Because I don't know I had just turned on my ps4 and it was the first game I actually joined so I just started recording I said hey what the heck and sometimes guys the first game that I play is probably the best game that I get uh, That happens sometimes actually often sometimes here and there but that always happens to me and I almost never record my first gameplay so I think I'll I'll go ahead and start doing that um, now today's topic is it's actually gonna be about um, a news that I heard today about two 12 year old girls stabbing their other friend 19 times 19 times what the heck man what are kids thinking now and we're talking about two girls. We're not talking about two kids. These are two girls. I don't, I don't know what gets into your head to go and try to kill another friend of yours. Now, the story goes that these two girls were trying to actually um, go with Slenderman or, I don't know, something crazy like that. If you don't know who Slenderman is, just go ahead and YouTube him or Google him. You'll see that it's a PC game on, that's online and, well, I'll, I'll just say that. You could just search and see what the game's all about. Um, and it's crazy, man. It's, it's nuts. I mean, back when I was 12 years old, I can't imagine myself thinking on stabbing somebody or trying to kill somebody. The only way that I see that maybe a 12-year-old boy or girl would try to actually stab and kill somebody is if your life is in danger okay i do see uh maybe kids you know from school if they're threatened uh by an older kid and they're afraid and they bring a weapon to school and by a weapon i mean a pocket knife something like that not a gun just like a pocket knife, just because they're scared. I That's more believable than actually seeing or hearing about two little girls, 12-year-olds. They're pre-teens. They're not even teens yet. Trying to kill another another friend of theirs. I, I, can't, I can't see that. I don't know why this is happening nowadays. I mean, you see more crazy stories more and more. I mean, what the heck is in the water, man? <laughs> you know, or what... what? What what are in these vaccinations or or what what are they feeding these these kids or what are they watching? Let alone this is what I, this is my belief. Kids nowadays they don't go out to the street and play. I'm not talking about like the street like the ghetto. You know I'm just talking about go out and play with your friends. Go get some bumps and bruises. Go get hurt sometimes. I don't know. Go outside, man. Like, you, you need the damn sun. That's probably the problem. Now, for me, I do believe, like, even, even a little street fight that little kids get into, it's good for you. Now, nobody wins in a, in a fight. Don't get me wrong. But at least, even if you lose, you know that you stood up for yourself. And that builds confidence. Okay? And next thing you know, those two kids that got into a little street fight are friends again. And that happens often, almost to every single friend. I remember fighting my best friends or my other friends. And we ended up being just as good friends as we were before. It's just little stuff that happens. Now, it's sad to see uh, this story. Because this girl, imagine this girl. Now, girls are more emotionally attached to their friends, to their family, to their relationships. It's going to cost just so much stress and traumatic, uh, I guess, brain damage in a sort of way on, on trusting people. It's her two friends who did this to her. It's insane. Now, in a way, I do feel bad for these two other girls just because once they hit reality, it's going to smack them in the face real hard. You're going to lose. They're saying that they're going to be charged like an adult. So they're saying they're going to be charged. They're thinking maybe they're giving, they're going to give them maybe 60 years in prison they're not even a quarter of that now 60 years in prison once they get out most of the family members are going to be dead and once they get out they're not even going to recognize them so what's going to happen to them that's crazy man that's insane you're going to lose 60 years of your life 
locked up. That's that's sad. That's that's truly sad, especially for two little girls. And they will hit reality. I okay. I don't know if they will. Cause that's just crazy what what what, what you did. Oops. <laughs> just hit my elbow on the table. But it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. I don't know what these kids have in their head. Hey man. If you're 12, 13, yes, it's good to play video games. But it's even better to go outside and go and get dirty. That's my thoughts. Alright guys, catch you guys next time. Hope you, hopefully you guys enjoyed this little commentary. Tell me what you think on the comments down below. Don't forget that like button. Catch you guys next time. Peace.